Some kids will get a pet and they'll see that pet through every single stage of its life. But can you talk about that? Like how child development with a pet is something that I know has recently been studied. I don't know if you've looked into any of that research, but what can you tell us about those relationships? You know, the studies are fascinating, specifically when they talk about children who suffer from attention deficit disorders in certain ways. They show that in certain studies, children with pets have been shown more likely to do their daily skills that are needed for them to just live a normal life. Also, it showed I think children suffering from diabetes, type 1 diabetes, that's often a very difficult disease to deal with as a child. Obviously, you're dealing with adult decisions and you don't understand what's going on and you don't realize the importance of managing your sugar and checking your sugar. And they've shown that children who take care of certain pets are more likely to check their glucose readings so that they can know and better manage their disease at an earlier rate. And I think that that is personally fascinating because when I think about pets, I didn't necessarily think about that benefit. I thought more about how what you said, pets often teach children about the steps of life and help you to have those difficult conversations, talking about not just death, but also sex. You know, it's often difficult for people and parents, at least, in my experience when teaching about sexual education, when I was a resident, it's often difficult for parents to have a conversation with their children. And sometimes I would use examples of animals to help people understand, like, oh, if you're teaching them about animals, that is a fine, normal biologic process. I think pets provide not only that benefit of having your child more on track, the same way it does us adults, but also it provides that level of comfort and then teaches them something about life.